Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Kurt from Vaughn Precision and today we're going to look at some measuring tools. And there's really only two that you absolutely have to have. And I would recommend both. You could actually get it done with one, but these two are, I would prefer both. Um, I really would. So let's take a look at this. So when it comes to measuring bullets and brass and, and uh, things like that, um, there are two tools that are really, really important to have. Most of you, if you reload, you probably already have this. If you don't, stay tuned. So there are two types of tools that you, that you really should have. One's a dial caliper and one is a ball micrometer, not a standard micrometer. There's a big difference. So let's take a look at this first. This tool here is made by RCBS and this is a ball micrometer. Now the ball micrometer is incredibly accurate for measuring the inside of a neck wall thickness. And the reason that you want to use a ball micrometer is because this ball here on the end contours to the inside curvature of the case giving you a very accurate reading. Now the outside here is is squared off but that's okay because the, if the case is going like this you're only measuring in one sm very small spot so this is incredibly accurate and I would highly recommend one of these. It doesn't have to be by RCBS. I prefer this one. It's very, very nice, very well built and incredibly accurate. But the other one is a dial caliper. Now with a dial caliper, you can measure all kinds of stuff with this. You can measure, you know, the, the overall length of the case, you can measure, you know, the you can measure the head, uh, you can measure the neck, you, you, you can measure all kinds of stuff. You can also, using the very tip, measure the inside of the wall thickness here, um, if you want to. Uh, I prefer to measure the, in, the, the neck wall thickness with the ball micrometer. But this is a very good tool. So here's the difference though. You have to have a quality tool. This one here is from Snap-on. Now there are some other brands out there that are good. I encourage you to do some of your own research on brands that are highly used, um, that are highly recommended by, by shooters. I do not absolutely do not recommend you go to your nearest Harbor Freight and get yourself one of these and go home and measure your stuff up. I could almost guarantee you you're going to be that far off. It's, uh, they're, they're not, they're not good. They're really not good. So these are, I don't know, the snap-ons are 120, 150, something like that. They're, they're pricey, I get it, um, but you buy it once. You don't have to buy it again. Um, the other one that I have is a central. Let's take a look at this here real quick. Let me grab it. So central tool is they're a great uh, they're a great tool also. Now, and I've used this for gosh, I've had this thing for probably twenty probably 20, 25 years, and it, it's, it's a great tool. The problem is, is I dropped it when I broke the glass. Now, it's still accurate, um, but when I start getting down into measurements down in that area there where the, where the lens is busted, it, uh, it's a little bit hard to read. So I went ahead and bought the Snap-on Digital. Um, but the Central is very it's a very good tool very accurate and and there's other brands out there too that are that are real nice so um, you can also with the dial caliper not only measure the thickness here but the outside here and so if you wanted to check and see you know what your case was 
on the inside diameter, well, you can measure that. Or you can measure the outside of it too. And so, very handy. Very, very, very handy. I, I, I like these a lot. But I do highly recommend that you own both. Now, I don't care which brand you buy as long as you don't buy a cheap brand, right? But get yourself a good quality brand. And these are like the RCBS. They even have a little ratchet design in in this little uh, thumb knob here. Hear that? So you can't over tighten it. Last thing you want to do with this thing is actually tighten it down using this piece. You you can run it down, but you want to finish it with that light touch there because it won't allow you to over tighten it and put too much pressure on this little stand here and and actually tweak it so you're getting bad readings. So um, very nice, uh, you probably can't see it very well, but uh, real nice markings on there, real smooth operation. Um, personally, if I had to buy one tomorrow, if I didn't own this, uh, if I had to buy one tomorrow, I would just go get the RCBS. It's very hard to actually to find a ball uh, caliper. Uh, so anyways, um, these are an absolutely invaluable tool you 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 have to, if you're going to do any sort of precision reloading you've got to have at least one of these if you don't have the money and I get it because for a long time I didn't have the money um, at, at minimum you have to have a dial caliper you can get by with one of these and be very very accurate um, if you can afford it get them both uh, get RCBS or another high quality brand that you can measure the wall thickness with so um, anyways I, I, I hope that helps uh, sort of move us along in the series of, of reloading and uh, stay tuned because we have a huge amount did I just say huge anyways we have a lot more coming um, lots and lots of stuff we've got a huge amount of project oh I said it again anyways we have a lot of products coming from different manufacturers um, and we're, we're going to test their products. Some of the stuff I bought on my own, um, some other companies out there, they have been gracious enough to send some stuff my way to test and be very honest about it. And so, which I will be, I don't support anything if it's not a quality product. I'll just simply say, I don't recommend that. Wink, wink. Piece of crap. So, um, but hopefully, here very shortly, weather permitting, <laughs> we're actually going to get out and get this thing to the test. I've actually already got some footage on this, so that's a bonus. The magneto speed, these things are slick. I really like these things. The nicest thing about these, they mount to your barrel. You don't have to have a chronograph set out there 10, 12 feet away so that, you know, uh, waiting for somebody to call the range coals so you can run out and get your stuff and bring it back You can just do it right there on the bench or you know if you're laying prone, which is recommended if you're doing long-range lay prone, but uh, So lots of lots of cool stuff coming up um, stick with us and uh, I Hope you enjoyed this hope you know leave some comments uh, subscribe like it and you know um, hopefully we can uh, I, I can answer your questions and and get you going. It's, it's, it's a fun thing to do. It's a, it's a real fun thing to do. So anyways, uh, appreciate it everybody. And until next time.